Suzanne and Lloyd came as a very young couple. They hadn't been briefed about India, so they didn't have a mindset. So everything was like an open canvas. They got an insight into that period, which was uh, quite a difficult time, that transition from the princely states to the democracy of today. I was first very impressed by Susan Rudolph's work on Gandhi. It brought in a fresh perspective, gave a different kind of insight into Gandhi's politics and also a different way of looking at the relationship between Gandhi, his society and his culture. They had a feel for the country, an inner feel, which was rare. What they wanted to understand was how India is changing and uh, they kept their eyes, their vision, their understanding fixed on this change and that is what made their uh, understanding of India relevant. They lived the life of the mind to the fullest. Work was not something which you, you stopped at five after you stepped out of the university. It was something with which uh, you were always engaged and, and thinking and so there was that you know, vibrant uh, in terms of discussion. Lloyd and Suzanne came long ago, way back in 50s, to Jaipur and met my father and they discussed about my grandfather's diary, which are 89 bound volumes. Each volume has 800 pages. This is uh, one of the longest written diary in the world today. When they study India, they are also perhaps studying America, studying themselves. And when perhaps they study America and look within to examine themselves, they also probably have bring some insights into India. It is that kind of dialogue within a person which is a clue to cross-cultural creativity. Their contributions will last. People will remember them as an important milestone in the study of India.